Hey Weeblos, I'm Nate. And I'm Jeff. And we're here today to tell y'all all about the sports adventure. We're going to tell you the three different requirements on how to complete this adventure. And then when you learn how to have fun and you practice hard, you can find a sport you love and be just like our boys, Dude Perfect. This is the five-story treehouse. Let's go, baby! Yeah! Woo! Found that. Found it. What's up guys, we're Dude Perfect, hanging out in the mountains of West Virginia at the Boy Scouts' newest high adventure base, called The Summit. Just like a <laughs> this is a leap of faith. Yeah! Welcome to the rock. Wall jumping. Yeah! Yeah! I'm crying out your name, come and drown out. Yeah! You got it now. Lean forward. Oh. I'm a baller, not a skater. Is the river shot? And if it rains on boards, I'm screaming out. Hey! Yeah! That's what I'm talking about. participate at home. So stand up and get ready. Are you ready? I'm ready. How about offsides? Offsides? Great job. Yes. 
What about false start? Mm, false start. Very good, Jeff. How about the field goal is good? That's right, three points. How about personal foul? Oh, man, personal foul. Fifteen yard penalty. Mm -hmm. How about a safety? Safety. That's two points for your team if you get a safety. And my favorite, touchdown. Touchdown. Really good job. These are just a few, but you can learn more signals about any sport that you choose by looking online. But Jeff, why are rules so important? Rules are very important to the game. Let's have a discussion about that. Now for signals, why are signals important in games? It's to make sure that everybody's playing fair. Everybody knows the rules and we're playing on the same set of rules. Um, have you played a game where there aren't any rules? I know for myself growing up, a lot of my friends would play games that kind of change the rules as we went along. And that's never fun. You gotta make sure the rules are set and in place before you start. The third thing to discuss is how would you change the sports? If there were no rules, how would you be allowed to get a score or what's the penalty? How do you win the game? These are things you need to know before playing the sport. Hey scouts, now we're on to requirement two, which is to play an individual or team sport. And you can do so many sports, such as football, basketball, soccer, and even baseball or softball. Check out your Weeblos handbook for a list of all optional activities. All right, Scouts, time for extra credit. What I want you all to do is to think of a new sport. It can be anything. You can make your own sport, decide how many players, how to win the game. It's going to be a lot of fun. I want to see what your Scouts can do. What you need to do is write down the ideas for your new sport and show it to your parents, a den leader, somebody at home that can help you with this. All right, Scouts, we're on to requirement three for sports adventure. Now, 3A is to explain what sportsmanship means to you. 3B is a role play situation that demonstrates good sportsmanship. And 3C is time for discussion. Describe a time or an example when you experienced or saw somebody have good sportsmanship. What you need to do is share this with your den leader, parent, or guardian. Remember the Scout Law when you're thinking about sportsmanship. Trustworthy, loyal, helpful, friendly, courteous, kind, obedient, cheerful, thrifty, brave, clean, and reverent. What does good sportsmanship mean and what parts of the Scout Law relate to playing a sport? Hey Weeblos, thanks for joining us for the sports adventure. We had tons of fun, we hope you did too. Until next time. Oh! <laughs>